Drumming and dancing are ancient ways that humans communicate. People can use the language of drum tones and rhythms across great distances to share information. Drums can set a rhythm for work and drum patterns are used to call a community to dance, to celebrate, to tell stories, to remember events, and to create a shared identity. What is the purpose of music and dance in your community? Do your family and friends hear a certain type of music or dance? Picture people moving around the world or from one city to another. What do they carry with them? The first things we might think of are clothing, food, and special possessions. Are these the same for all people, or does the place you come from tell a story through what you wear and what you eat? Do the treasures you carry with you say something about who you are? A community celebrating usually shows us something about its culture. Culture may not be packed in a suitcase or a box. It is definitely carried in human hearts, minds, and activities as they travel through life. The roots of culture in a family or a community are internal. They are not visible unless revealed. For instance, what we believe about life, ideas we consider to be important, feelings about how we live, or what we focus our attention on throughout the day are all aspects of culture that are carried inside. Culture only becomes visible when we communicate it through stories. Symbols, traditions, art, celebrations, clothing, food, music, dance, and many, many other expressions. Today, we explore Manjani rhythms through dance and drumming. Manjani rhythms were first known almost 800 years ago and are known today through the sharing of culture. Manjani dates back to early 1200 CE with the Malinke people of West Africa. The Malinke originated in the modern day nations of Guinea, Mali, and Senegal. They became very successful through agriculture and mining and shared these resources along routes made for trading. In other words, they sold their products by traveling to distant places. As they traveled, they communicated their culture and expanded their civilization into a great empire. Their language is known as Mande. When we look at the word Manjani, we can see that it begins in the same way. Manjani drumming is a language of rhythm and the dance is a language of movement. The Malinke people carried Manjani with them as an expression of their culture, a story through music and dance. And what is the story that Manjani tells? It is a rite of passage ceremony for a certain time in life when a young woman comes of age. Through the Manjani rite of passage, they are recognized as a full member of the community, as a young adult. In the United States, African dance and drumming traditions have become important among people of African descent. Practicing these traditions connects them to a history and ancestry that may be considered lost. Manjani drum and dance is only one of these traditions. Each dance has different movements and footwork accompanied by specific drum patterns. In the Manjani dance, look for athletic yet graceful movements that demand strength and control. You will notice that the dance is high energy. The footwork of the dancers is carefully coordinated with drum patterns formed by skilled hands. This is Manjani.